to post is this one, the total darkness vision. This was shown to me last August 10, 2010. At about 7.30 a.m. So, what does this message mean? The prophetic word is this. Total thick darkness will cover the whole earth. Darkness that can be felt covering the four corners of the earth. Darkness is the fierce anger of God Yahweh. And this will make all nations, inhabitants tremble because of the deep darkness that has never come to see the thick of this darkness. So this can be found in the Holy Scriptures. Revelation chapter 6, verse 12, 13, and then also in the book of Exodus, just as in the time of Moses, so shall it be again. That is in the book of Exodus, chapter 10, verse 21, and likewise, you can read it in the book of Isaiah, chapter 24, verses 5 and 6. And it is also found in the book of Joel, chapter 2, verse 31. So, prepare yourself with this coming prophecy because it is going to happen. God showed it to his servant, the prophet, who informs his people in advance so as to have preparation. So what is the best preparation for this? I have been repeating it is that you will not have fear if you have the Lord Jesus the Spirit being born again having a covenant with Him His Spirit is in you and it is the Spirit who will protect you the Spirit will take away your fears at this time of perilous time. So this vision is repeated three times. It means that before uh, an apocalyptic event happens, this will be the first event that will take place to warn the people. <clears throat> so in this, I will have to praise God, Father Almighty, in this uh, event, even if in time of Stress, you can still praise God the Father if you have the Spirit. Father of power, sublime, embracing space and time, Almighty, immortal God, yes and amen, your name forever. More the same, eternal Father God. Father, all living things, Forth from your heart did spring, 
made and sustained by your word. Everything glorifies the one who gave us life, pointing to love divine. Who sees the pain you bear, with you your sorrow shares over a world marred by sin? Oh, may you be consoled in all your grief and woe to see our childlike trust. You are the God who is and was the same, and who always will be, true to your name, constant, faithful, unchanging. Lord, we adore you. You are the God of all eons and spheres, the Lord of the ages, a thousand years, but a day in your sight. Lord, we adore. You are the God of power, transcending the mind of man and human reckoning, glorious in omnipotence, Lord, we adore you. You are the God beyond compare, in heaven, on earth, or anywhere, to whom alone praise and honor and glory belong to you, Lord, God Almighty. We adore you. Amen. So, to those who have been born again, have been living holy in time of this darkness, still they can praise freely, joyfully, God Almighty Father. As what I have read in this place that is true. So bye for now, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. I have uh, included this praise so that you can also have it when the time comes. May the sweet blessings of the Lord and I'll pray for you as usual, as you seek the Lord with all your heart, with all your strength, with all your soul, because He may be found. He just wait for you with an open arm before the doors of mercy close. It is still time. Just look for him, look for his mercy, and 